Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are playing Pyramid. Maybe, sort of, possibly. All right. I guess this is going to be a Tetris-like game. I do forget that uh, due to the limited uh, stuff that they had in gaming, or with the requirements, or not requirements, what am I, what's the word I am trying to, uh, the limitations in hardware, a lot of the games were puzzlers because they were easy to produce, required very little. Ah, I screwed that up. I was trying to think and I'm like, you know what? I've not seen anything else that was... It's a very unique kind of... Uh, I guess we could have done that, huh? Uh, let's go this way. Alright, that, that's what I was wanting to do on the last one. Too bad you can't get this one to go straight up and down. It's got to be at some weird janky angle. I don't like the janky angle. Ah. This piece sucks. Let's just be honest. This piece is kind of garbagey. <laughs> and they're going to give us two of them. Yeah, bastards. Yeah, bastards. Yeah, that's not going to get us anything we want, is it? The cliche music. At least it does give you that slight ability to uh, move your piece right as you're getting ready to set it. Are we actually going to get somewhere? There we go. We're, get, we're getting it. We're getting there. You know, it is a pretty... I mean, all in all, it's it's a Tetris clone. But it is, in its own right, somewhat unique and interesting. I'm not going to lie, it's actually somewhat enjoyable. In, in its uniqueness. Ah... Uh. It has some various, uh, some much different uh, ge geometrical issues than uh, Tetris did. Tetris was uh, feels a lot more basic when you're comparing it to uh, the stuff going on here. Like things are just seems more far more complex. <laughs> In this one. Ah, oh, that's uh, not what I wanted. I was looking at it and didn't see it was the big one. Alright, let's do this. I definitely hate this one. Yeah, we're just going to stick you up here. <laughs> Well, it did work. I don't know if it was a good idea, but it worked. <laughs> hey, we are not doing well now.
Like, you definitely feel like you're getting into more spots, and it's a lot harder to, uh... A, get yourself out of things. Where a simple straight line can do it. Like, there are no sh real straights in this one. Which is really interesting. And like I said, it, it, it makes the game a lot more complex than you would think. It is a slower pace. Tetra starts to go crazy real fast. This one, because of the small, the the small pieces, and all the different uh, geometric shapes and angles, makes it to where, as you see, we're we're way in here. We haven't really made very many lines or progress, but we're still so far up from the top. And the pieces do. I mean, we are on level one. So I mean they're they're being they're probably being very nice to us at the moment. And I feel like that's gonna change pretty dramatically if we ever got out of this level. Which I don't have high hopes for. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is uh This is something else. Again, I think this is the worst piece in the... This this piece right here is the thing that really just... Well, all in all, just fucks you up. Like, seriously. Like, you can kind of make do with all the rest of the pieces to a point. But that one just really wrecks you. And it, it, it's coming more often, to, more often than I would really like to see. Yeah, this game is far harder than, like at first you look at it, you're like, oh, it's, you know, this and that. And then you really start playing it, and you're just like, oh, ouch. <sighs> yeah, there's no piece that can fit in there, is there? I kind of definitely... Uh I hate this piece! <laughs> we, we are not doing well. This is a very, very, uh... Aha, I, I, I screwed that up. We are toast. We, my friends, are toast. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. <laughs> oh, we, 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 we screwed the pooch on this one. Damn it! All right. I'm not gonna lie. Very, <laughs> gets very difficult. I want to try one more. And see if we can't fight the suck a little bit better than we did the first time around. Alright, so oh, we're already starting off with this garbage piece right here. Alright, so if we do it kind of middle right here, we should be able to work around it.
All right, once you get the hang of it, it gets a it gets a little better. I'm not gonna lie, it does not get very much better, but it does get a little better. There's no good place for this. See, I wish they had something that you can actually use for that. Another one of these, it just... And of course, this one, you can't do it the other way. There, there's limitations to it too, which is a little disappointing. I wish you can like uh, do better, a different kind of rotation on a lot of these pieces. Like this one, I wish you can make it to where it spins around the other direction to where you can go uh, with the point down, but it, it, it doesn't. Like this one. Oh, that's the wrong direction, so we're gonna do it this way. Oh, can we get... No, we screwed that up. Ouch. Alright, that sucked. And again, if we could just... Function it, like... There's no good spot for that. That's like the crux of this game, is that one fucking piece, man. There's really no good way of using it. It just gets in there and gets in the way. And screws you real good. Just no lube. Doesn't even bother to give you a courtesy reach around. It just, just gives it to you. Because it leaves these little things and there's no pieces whatsoever that function for that. Can I squeeze up in there? It does give you that good, small, albeit minute ability to... Uh, I'm going to try something. I want to see if it'll rotate. Now, that it's not going to do for us. It was worth a shot. I figure we'll we try a couple things, we see what works, right? Throw it on the wall, see what sticks, and that did not stick. Just testing some stuff out now. We ain't in here to try to win this game any at all. And because they don't give you the different colors and everything's the same shape, you can't tell that, well, maybe I wasn't paying attention enough to notice the difference in the, uh... The angled piece. Another one of these. Alrighty then, um, okay, so we can do it this way, we can't rotate, but we can do that, so, Uh, 
Yeah, we are not getting any of the pieces that we need now. We are just getting all the opposite stuff. God damn it, why this one again? No, you just go up there. Ha. Ah. Again with the opposite direction. That we can work around. Okay, that we need. We can get that there. At least we were able to get something out of it. Like, ah, we are in. Not happening here. That was cool. Damn it, no! You go over here. I don't want to deal with you no more. Like, it would be perfect caps for stuff like that, but... It, it, it's not going to do that for us at all. Damn it! That that is a that is one of the downsides about that though is if you uh, go to move it and line it up and then accidentally hit it where you figure it's going to be. Well, I guess there is one good spot for that, right? <laughs> We're done. Dunzo. Oh man. All right. Oh. Oh, this one is a very brutal. Like, if you like Tetris, <laughs> you probably might not like this one because it's completely different. But it is a very complex, very different um, Tetris X uh, version. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> my mind is like all... I, I got lots of triangles in my head at this point. But it is a crazy, crazy, and difficult puzzler. Um, it is it is fairly fun. It does have a couple things that I really, really, really wish that they would have done, where you can uh, alternate the rotation of the items to, to change things up a little bit, depending on the button. Um, I do like that it allows you to, it gives you a leeway when you're placing an item so you can move, uh, like almost, directionally like kind of uh, pivot a bit and that is a good I, I really like that you can do it a bit in Tetris but I think this one gives you a little bit more leeway whether it is just because it's uh, the first level or not hard to say because boy we are not getting anywhere close to finishing it but um, if these kind of games are your forte I definitely would highly recommend giving this one at least a, a try it is quite crazy quite fun and it just really you would figure it's not overly, like, at first glance, you're like, oh, just another Tetris clone, whatever. But honestly, with the geometrics of it and the geometry, it really works out to be a completely different and unique game. And it is quite, quite, quite the little puzzler. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Till next time, you have a great day.